Motherfuckers thought that because I was raised homophobic, that might have meant I was homophobic. Wait a minute, motherfucker, don't speak for me. <laughs> I can tell you how the fuck I feel. Just because I got an opinion don't mean shit. At the end of the motherfucking day, I thought we were talking about rights, and I thought we it was human rights. I think they human rights. So if you a human, you deserve your motherfucking rights. The reason for that is I don't give a fuck what you are doing in your life because I'm too busy doing what the fuck I'm doing in my life. In quote. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, people thought that because I might have an opinion, that meant I was homophobic. No, 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 no. Let me say, let me say publicly. Let me see, very publicly. If there was a dude and I had some shit to say, that's not because I was homophobic, motherfucker. I'm not homophobic, I'm pro-pussy. There is a difference. I think you need to understand. I, I was trying to help. I wasn't coming from a place of hate. I thought some of them had made a mistake. I'm saying if you try a vagina and it leads you to a life of asshole, wait a minute. If at first you don't succeed, sir, try, try again. What the? You must have got the wrong vagina. They are delicious, huh? You should try another one. All of them are delicious, huh? But I realized, I realized there was a contradiction because if you ask me about gay dudes, I have some shit to say. But if you ask me about lesbians, I don't have shit to say about lesbians. I've already had this conversation with Jesus. He know I love lesbians. I don't even think lesbians should pay taxes. I really don't. I think they are already taking care of two vaginas. <laughs> Just saying. We can't afford to be judging all the time. Our life is too motherfucking hard as it is. You gotta be able to just laugh some shit the fuck off. I just don't like when they try to force shit down our throats. Had Jason Collins come out as the first openly gay basketball player. Uh, that's fine and all, but nigga, you can't suck at both things. <laughs> We didn't know you was gay, and we didn't know you was a basketball player, nigga. What the fuck? This nigga averaged 0.3 points a game. We do that shit from the house. How the fuck he gonna be the first openly gay basketball player? Am I the old, only motherfucker in here old enough to remember Dennis Rodman? What the fuck was that shit? That was the first gay basketball player. Get the fuck out of here. I watched that nigga get 38 rebounds in foundation, mascara, eyeliner, eyelashes, lip gloss, chapstick, lipstick, rouge. That nigga's the master of the all ass defense. He just... You want this rebound, you gonna have to touch my penis. No, no, no. Sometimes you just gotta be able to laugh. They had Michael Sams come out. He finna be first gay NFL player. And when that shit came out, everybody had an opinion. He was right here, and everybody over there had an opinion, and everybody over there had an opinion. But nobody's opinion was solid. They go up to the player, do you care that your teammate is gay? <laughs> Hell no. I don't care what he chooses to do with his own personal life. As long as he comes in here ready to win championships and knows the playbook, then we have a teammate. <laughs> you mean you don't mind sharing a shower with him? I can shower at the house, it ain't that big a deal, I'm saying. 
I'm generally a fresh skin a motherfucker anyway. Why did I? Just saying. Can't make judgment all the time. Sometimes you gotta be able to laugh. I don't have to be motherfucking political. I don't play football. I'm a football fan. I ain't in charge of the NFL. I love the NFL. I love to see football games. And as a fan, let me just say, it's gonna be some exciting shit when the first gay motherfucker walk over the field. And all of y'all think it's gonna be regular. No the fuck it ain't. No, it's gonna be some exciting shit. You think you've been tackled before? <laughs> Nigga. You think you've been sacked before? <laughs> Nigga. I bet you ain't never been sacked till you get sacked by a six foot eight 285 pound nigga that was looking at your ass anyway. <laughs> he just on the line. Just... <laughs> Blue 42. That nigga's gonna sack you with love in his heart. We have a big dick malfunction. 